Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bart Reesing and this is my friend Yajvi Kalisa. On behalf of our founder, Sant Baba Amar Singh Ji, and our Honourable Principal, Mr. Rajinder Singh Sandhu, we would like to welcome you to Guru Nanak Sikh Academy's graduation evening 2019. We have come together to celebrate the achievements of our fellow students yes. who have done outstandingly well in their GCSE and A-level exams. My congratulations to all my friends who have graduated this summer. I can imagine that this is a great milestone in your career that you have accomplished in the form of your GCSEs and A-levels this summer. You have accomplished this great achievement because of your dedication, commitment, hard work and perseverance that you have shown throughout your school years. Our special thanks to Superintendent Mr. Devinder Singh Kondola and his team of police officers who have always provided us with great inspiration through their work and support. I would also like to congratulate all the parents as it is a great moment for you to see your children progressing and achieving this momentous triumph which was not possible without your support and care that you showed in the most difficult and challenging moments of these past years. I would also like to congratulate all the teachers and staff at Granarnik Sikh Academy who go beyond their formal duties and contractual hours to show care and responsibility for each and every student. You do this in order to ensure that we as students are enlightened with knowledge and wisdom to make better choices for ourselves. Please put your hands together for our teachers and staff for the tireless effort and valuable contributions. I personally take great pride to call myself a student of Guru Nanak Sikh Academy. This is not just because I have been studying here for most of my life, but because I understand that the ethos and principles that this school has enrooted in me and in all the students are to guide us through all the challenges and obstacles that we are going to face in our lives. Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj says, Man jeet te jag jeet. If you win your mind, you win the whole world. These are hundreds of students who are practically living this message. I would like to welcome our alumni who very kindly accepted the invitation to attend this evening. We are proud of our students who leave Guru Nanak Sikh Academy with our values and ethos to spread them around the world. These are our students who contribute towards the wider community in order to create an ideal world of equality and harmony between all human beings that Guru Nanak Dev Ji visualized. Please give a huge round of applause for ex-students and alumni of GNSA. We have put together a video to demonstrate our outstanding results this summer. While we appreciate that the video focuses on the outcomes and, result and results, it also tells in the background of these results the story of passion, hard work and perseverance shown by our students with the support and guidance of their teachers and parents. So many memories and some beautiful relationships that we create along the way, not just with fellow students but also with staff and teachers of this school. All these wonderful memories leave a remarkable impact on our minds. If I tell you the truth, I don't think it will ever be possible to separate GNSA from any of, the, any of the students who have studied here. The ethos and principles of this school becomes an inseparable part of every student. To share their own experience and thoughts with all of us, I would like to welcome on the stage a member of GNSA alumni, Amrita Dillon. She then proceeded to do a Bachelor of Law degree and then went on to do a Master's in Law and also the Legal Practice course. Amrita is currently working as a legal advisor for Kuwait Petroleum International Aviation Company. Please give a big round of applause for Amrita Dillon. Hi everyone, Vaigurji ka khalsa, Vaigurji ki fateh. Thanks for inviting me today. It's a pleasure to be back at school again and I must say it's a very surreal feeling to be back here. Um, so just thank you for your introduction also. Um, a bit of background about myself, so I, I've studied law and at the moment I'm working in an international oil company. Um, GNSA has definitely played a big part in me being where I am, where I am today. Um, I can't say I've made it as a full, fully qualified lawyer yet, but I'm definitely well on my way there. Congratulations to all the students that have done so well. And um, yeah, that's, I don't really have much else to add other than that. Thank you. And it's lovely to be here and see all of this today. 
Please give a big round of applause for Amita Dillon. Thank you, Amita, for your kind and motivational words. Can I please request our Vice Principal, Mr. D'Onofrio, to come and present a token of appreciation to Amrita. Please, a big round of applause for Amrita Dillon. <laughs> Let's hear a few more stories from our alumni. Akash Deep Sharma, would you please come up on stage and share some words with the audience? Akash Deep studied Punjabi, Biology, Chemistry, Geography and English Lit at A-levels and completed his biomedical science degrees from the University of Westminster, working as an impl implementation consultant for US technology company that develops and markets software as a service for use in clinical trials. Akash Deep's day-to-day -day role is working alongside the pharmaceutical, biotech, academic and governmental institutions around the world to develop and bring medical drugs, therapies and products to the market. Please put your hands together for Akash Deep. Thank you, thank you. Um, so before I start my brief speech, uh, I'd like everyone in the audience to join me. Gajwajke Parwan Kuruji, Shri Vai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Shri Vai Guruji Ki Fateh. Hey everyone. Um, wow, it's been a very long time since I've been up here on the stage. Uh, definitely getting flashbacks. Um, so I'm going to keep this brief, so I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, as formally introduced, uh, my name is Akar Sharma. Uh, I am an implementation consultant, so to a lot of you that might not mean much, and believe me, when I first landed the role, I really had no idea either. Um, so just in a nutshell, uh, as mentioned, I work for a US company. What we do is we deliver software to pharmaceutical uh, research companies to run their clinical trials. And my specific day-to-day -day role is to actually implement that software working along with uh, big pharmaceutical companies to implement trials such as like in oncology. Um, but you know, enough about me. What we all have in common today is that we all have some sort of affiliation with Guru Nanak Sikh Academy. And um, it is, you know, it's been about six years since I finished my A-levels here. Um, so as Maria mentioned, it's kind of surreal being back. Um, you know, it's really, ha I'm really happy to know that, you know, all of the celebrations and you know, achievements, perseverance, hard work and determination carried out by not only just the students but by the teachers as well is still being celebrated here today. Now, um, you know, I've been asked to say a couple of words you know, to motivate. Uh, I don't consider myself as a motivational speaker, so if you're expecting a TED talk, you know, this definitely isn't it. Uh, but what I am going to say is that I was thinking about what was it that I would say to myself you know, six years ago something that I would want for a, an ex-student who's gone through the process of completing their A-levels or GCSEs, uh, you know, studied a degree at university and then now is part of the hustle and bustle of the working world. And I thought long and hard and, you know, what I'm going to say to you is, as much as it, as it is a cliche, but, you know, the possibilities in this world outside of these gates are absolutely endless. It is entirely up to you what you want to do, whether that's going through an apprenticeship, whether it's doing a degree in university or anything other, other than that. You know, be the best that you can be, work hard, persevere, and I guarantee you, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Um, what I'm also going to say is that, you know, my time here at Grunanik, I recall, um, you know, Mr. Sandu uh, in the mornings in the assemblies, uh, he'd come and then, you know, give us some Janam Sakis um, about our Gurujis. And there's one Saki in particular that I remember about Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Duni Chand with the needle. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a storyteller, so I'm not gonna go into the actual Saki in itself. But the moral that I took from that was, you know, look at the world that we live in. It's a materialistic world. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on, whether it's Brexit or whether it's, you know, oil troubles in the Middle East. Um, we leave with this world, uh, sorry, we come into this world with nothing and we leave with nothing. But what we do take are all the good deeds and karma that we have procured in this world into the next. So uh, that is my message loud and clear. Be a good human, you know, help others, work hard in what you do and succeed. And uh, yeah, never forget from where you came back from. Uh, you know, so the people around you, parents, fellow students, teachers, so on and so on, that actually really make you the person that you are. And um, I wouldn't for a second believe that I'm not the person that I am today 
if it weren't for the teachers um, that were in the school. So um, definitely massive congratulations to all of you for your success and uh, good, good luck for the future. Vaiguruji ka khalsa, Shri Vaiguruji ki fateh. Thank you, Akash. Deep. Mr. Donofrio, please would you present a token of appreciation to Akash on behalf of staff and students of GNSA. A big round of applause, please, for Akash. Deep. These are two inspirational stories out of thousands of other students who are doing amazing things with their lives after leaving GNSA. We are proud of such role models who provide all of us with drive to achieve our goals. Now is the time we appreciate those remarkable students who have done outstandingly well in their GCSEs exams in summer 2019. To present these awards, I would like to welcome our Chairman of Directors at Gurunanak Sikh Academy, Mr. Arun Thakur, up on the stage. Please give a big round of applause for Mr. Thakur. Could I please invite upon the stage um, Simran Dariwal, Jessica Sachdev, and Garnit Singh. Simran Dillon, Just Kirit Gill, and Moimid Jaswal. Jasjit Singh, Dilpreet Singh to come up on the stage. Please may I call up to the stage, Paul Preeti. Harpreet studied biology, chemistry and sports science. She worked as a coach for a female football team and currently working as a recruitment consultant. Please give a big round of applause for Harpreet Hugh. Vaikuji ka khasa, Vaikuji ki fateh. Oh my goodness, there's so many unfamiliar faces. It's so strange being back. I don't think anyone really understands how surreal this is. Like being back here after four years in another country, a completely different environment. It's, it's pretty insane. Um, so a little bit about me. I did biology, chemistry and sports science while I was here at Granonic and that was for my A-levels. Um, I then went to university and initially, um, I wanted to do physical therapy, but halfway through my degree, um, I realized that that wasn't what I wanted to pursue, uh, partially because I didn't want to spend another four years doing my doctorate after I um, did my pre um, my pre degree. Um, so I got my degree in biology, and um, while I was doing that, 
um, in America. I um, was also playing football. So I was a full-time athlete while being a full-time student and I had part-time work. So um, my time management skills are pretty on point. Um, I'm, I thoroughly enjoyed my time out there. Um, and now I am a recruitment consultant in King's Cross. Um, it's um, d very different to what I did my degree in. So um, most of my time was spent in a lab uh, behind a bench. And now I'm in an office talking to so many different kinds of people, d you know, trying to help them find a job in their desired career path. Um, but I'm making the most of every opportunity that's come my way. And I want you guys to go out there and do the same. Be ambitious, be motivated. Um, not everything's going to go the way you plan. Um, I went to university in my third year there. Um, I was tackled from behind and tore my ACL. That put me out for a year. So um, that was a big downer. Like not being able to play football for a year and having to focus on trying to teach my quad how to walk again. It's the strangest experience, but. Don't let anything put yourself put you down. Um, I'm back on the pitch. I play for Brentford now, and I'm loving it. So I just want to make sure that you guys, I just want to encourage you guys to make the most of your opportunities. Go out there and put 110% into whatever it is that you do. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And But never let that put you down. OK, thank you. <laughs> Please may I invite Mr. D'Onofrio to present an award for half proof. Thank you, Mr. D'Onofrio and Harpreet. May I please call up on stage another alumni, Hargaran Singh Burke, who studied maths, further maths, physics, economics at A levels, and has a mathematics degree and works as an auditor and child accountant. Please, a round of applause for her garden. Wahiguji ka khalsa, Wahiguji ki fate. So, thank you for the introduction. Um, as uh, my colleague, my fellow students just um, <laughs> explained, that I'm an auditor. I'm not going to go into into what audits um about because don't really want to bore you all, but um. I I graduated with a mathematics degree um, in 2017, and um, yeah, I, I graduated with a mathematics degree in 2017, and um, I applied to um, a number of different firms, um, and um, I decided to um, take up the um, the ACA qualification. So at the moment, um, I'm training to be a, a chartered accountant. Um, <laughs> Um, in um, for my, sorry, um, I haven't done um, too much prep, so um, I just want to thank um, I just want to thank the academy for everything it does and um, all the hard works all the teachers put in to helping um, all the students. Um, I want to, um, as Mr. Sandu mentioned in the video earlier, um, that the key is discipline um, to sort of progress um, to sort of progress further. And um, I want everyone to keep that in mind. Um, I just want to really apologize for my speech because um, I've had a really, really busy week. And um, I've been traveling a lot over the past um, few weeks. Um, but thank you so much for the opportunity of calling me up. And um, yeah, thank you very much. A round of applause for Garden, please. Please may I invite Mr. D'Onofrio to give an award to Har Garden Singh Burke. A big round of applause for Garden Singh Burke, please. Now is the time to announce the award for the best A-level results. To present these awards, please can I request Superintendent of Police, Mr. Devinder Singh Kandola, to come up on the stage and present these awards to our students. Can the following students please come up and can the audience please applaud whilst they come up? Prajwal Banya, Deopreet Bhatia, Amrit Binning, Jaspal Jumur, and in part of Dharneet Gill, Dharneet's parents, please. Prajwal Banya, Deopreet Bhatia, Amrit Binning, Jaspal Jumud, and Tani Gill's parents, please. A big round of applause, please.
This is Tony's sister. Tony could not be here because she was working in Deloitte. Um, so please, a big round of applause for Tony's hard work and effort. Can we please have up on stage now Meet Gaur, Randeep Gaur, and Komal Preet Gaur? A big round of applause, please. Big round of applause, please. <laughs> Can I invite them to the stage next? Satmeet Lamba, Gulneet Madan, and Sanket Malik. Please, big round of applause. <laughs> Can I invite them to the stage? Rabbid Mujral, Anna Raheja, Ria Sahota, and on behalf of Smeet Saini, Smeet's mum. A big round of applause, please. Here today because of university, but we have on behalf of him and his parents. A big round of applause, please. And can I invite onto the stage Jagneet Sangha, Akshay Sethi, and Daksh Urmel? Please, a big round of applause. Ask Mr. Condola to please share some words with the audience. Hopefully, this is working. So, why did you Khalsa? Why did you I just want to share a few things. Firstly and foremost, I want to say a thank you uh, to the school for inviting me here today. Um, equally, when I first got told about this, I was uh, very uh, happy, joyful to be able to share some of the experiences that I face within the policing world. Um, first and foremost, I want to say a massive congratulations to the students here. Those results were amazing. I wish I was at this school a few years back because looking at those results, I think I could have done a little bit better as well. Um, and you're absolutely right, none of that is achievable without the hard work that you put in. None of it's achievable with the support that you, you, know, you get from home, whether that's from brothers, sisters, parents, uh, other people that you're in, in your life that are inspirational. Um, a lot of those things, I think, are key things for success um, in the future. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so 23 years policing service, I've been pretty much across all of London, worked in different departments. I came here uh, in 2018 as a superintendent looking after a basic command unit that manages Hillingdon, Hounslow and Ealing. Uh, and I've got responsibility for neighbourhood policing and partnership policing across the basic command unit. So it's a big ask, but actually it's no different to what everyone else is doing day in, day out. Everyone's in those demanding, difficult and rewarding vocations. Um, and I, you know, listen to some of the students here today. There's your role models. They're your future role models in generations to come. You know, we've got a Brentford football player. I like Brentford because I do a lot of match commander at Brentford. Now that I know you're there, I'll be speaking to you a bit more often. You know, we've got individuals in the room that are clearly going in for law. Um, and then the young chap at the end that spoke, never easy to talk when you're in an audience. And I learned that the hard way as I climbed up the ladder because a lot of my work now involves me talking to a lot of people across communities. And equally, there's opportunities that you can all take away from today, from the guys that are here that have come back four or five years later um, and actually are now your role models for you to move on and hopefully get those jobs in the sectors that you want to work in. But spare a little thought, policing. Um, and I think for me, I wanted to talk about policing in particular. So 23 years policing service. I've been back to my school when I, I work, I live out in uh, Berkshire. Uh, and I remember a few years back when I was a cadet. So I joined as a cadet at 13, um, and then I joined uh, the regulars at 19. So I did um, you know, the usual mainstream education. Um, I didn't go to university. I wish I had. My parents were really disappointed about me joining the service. So I had some challenges to face. But I was quite resilient in the fact that I said to mum, I said to my dad, I know that it's a difficult place to be, because policing in those days were very different to what it is nowadays. It's more diverse. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. But generally speaking, um, it was um, not a place that you saw a young Asian lad looking to join the service. 
So I took the, uh, I took the big step of joining the organisation. And I've got to say, it served me well for 23 years. Hopefully, the next seven years will pass peacefully. And you know, it will serve me well as I move forward, uh, either on promotion or I'll stay where I am, because I'm happy where I am, serving the communities of the West. But I remember when I was at school, doing my GCSEs, and I went to see my careers advisors. And I don't know, maybe the teachers can tell me differently whether they still have careers advisors. But my careers advisor said to me, what do you want to do? And I said, uh, I want to join the police service. And she went, no, nah, you're not going to be able to join the police service. You need uh, qualifications, A to C, and I don't think you've got the right temperament to join it. I was like really disappointed and, and she burst my bubble. So I was even more determined to make sure that that's what I wanted to do. And from an early age, and I'm not going to give away the age, but from an early age, I knew exactly what it is I wanted to do. And that was join and put this uniform on. When I got there, I just wish I could go back and meet that careers advisor and just say, do you know what? I managed to do what I really wanted to do. Despite you saying I couldn't do it, I work extremely hard, just like you are, to manage to join the service and here today. And the other thing is with the results that you've all achieved, my plea is why don't you come and look at us as a career of choice in the future? There are so many different ways to join the service and it's really rewarding. It's rewarding, it's ambitious because they want you know, officers to move up the chain, move up the food ladder you know, and, 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 and service the communities. And equally, every day is so different and I'm sure that's a lot, you know, it's different for a lot of people in different organisations. But policing offers so much, you know, other, other vacations, you know, whether you want to be a dog handler, whether you want to go in public order, there's a lot that it offers. So my plea to you is, if there's an opportunity and you feel that policing is something that you want to do, I would wholeheartedly recommend for you to look at it, think about it, speak to your local police officers. There's officers in the schools. Um, and I know they do an absolutely fantastic job, and that's why we're here today, because they have that connection um, with the students, with the teachers and the staff. And equally, at the same time, we've also got our first cadets uh, corps based out of here. Um, and that's, you know what, that's an achievement, because we've got cadets across the basic command unit, but actually in a school like Gordon Onyx Sikh Academy, we've got cadets, established cadets. Um, so for me, is if you've thought about it, join the cadets, get people to join the cadets and, and play a vital part. And one of the reasons I want to join the service was because I wanted to do server, public servant, and that's exactly what I've gone and done. It's not been easy, but it's been definitely for me uh, a worthwhile career and ambitious, um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will continue. So I'm here for most of the evening. If you're thinking about it, come and speak to me. I'll be more than happy to give you some advice around it. But other than that, I just want to say to the staff of the school, thank you for having us. And uh, hopefully the relationship continues with us, yourselves, and the community as a whole. Can I please ask Mr. Tarkur to come up stage and present a token of appreciation to Mr. Condola? A big round of applause, please, for Mr. Condola. Can we now please welcome Mr. D'Onofrio with a big round of applause. Good evening, most importantly, our young ladies and our young gentlemen who are stepping ahead. And what wonderful words. First, I thank you, Superintendent of Industry and Candola. Those words and that sales pitch, I love it. You've got to be there. We need police officers, otherwise where do we go? That gave us the inspiration to think of the clarity of the jobs that we think of ahead and that our children, our students, think ahead to them. We also thank Councillor Dillon, who's with us today. Trying to hide an incognito there, you're known by too many faces. We have to mention and thank you because it's those hidden faces, that hidden server that people do behind the scenes, that many people in this room won't even realise what you've done to support the school and to bring the school forward. Obviously, we thank, obviously, Mr. Sandu, our executive principal, Mr. Tucker, and the whole directors and governing body for the work they do behind. And it leads to that vision. Some Baron Singh Ji had one very clear vision, for you children to go out and make a difference in the world around us. And when you think, oh, is that going to happen? What can I do? You think, I've just got to think one step and one study ahead. We fortunately have our ex-students who have come as our role models to directly tell us what may lay ahead of you. Whether it's only to your law and that inspiration of your journey, working for the petroleum company and showing those, those high, high level talks and meetings you must be going into. 
but it shows that hard work pays off and it shows that it is that hard work ahead. Whether it is, hi Karen, I know you were worried about your words and you're worried they didn't come out. Your vision came out. That hard work is real. And there are nights when you do, night after night after night, and you still come here with the smile to do a bit of server, and that exhaustion tells, and you think, I've just forgotten everything I prepared, but your words came out clear about passionate and hard work and giving back to the community. Akashki, you made it very clear in terms of how your software and your working software is the love that you enjoy, but that you made it with a clear vision. That clear vision of, we come with nothing, we'll leave with nothing. What you've left us with is what we leave behind. Our legacy of who we are and what we've done. And how that followed with an inspirational talk of you're going to have those ups and downs, whether they're on or off the field. You're going to have those days when you're low, but you're not alone and you keep going. Harpy, that really gave us a sense of understanding of the journey ahead for all of our students. And that was inspirational to hear how you got up when you were down, because there will be days, young ladies and gentlemen, where you will be down. But it's at those days you will know you're not alone. You will look around. And if you look around now, you have your parents around you who've brought you all through that journey. And that brings me to a short story. A few years ago, a student gave me a two pound coin. And I thought, oh, OK, that's very nice. Thank you. No, sir, it's not for you. It's for all of the teachers. Oh, and as I'm looking at this two pound coin thinking I've got 190 teachers, I'm going to split this one each, just like just over a penny each. He said, so you clearly don't get it. Have you ever read what's on the side of a two pound coin? And actually, I'd never read what's on the side of a two pound coin. On the side, it says, standing on the shoulders of giants. He said, we as students achieve because of those who hold us up high. And now I must take my step to be below and hold the next generation high. You are the giants that are holding the next generation to become the giants of tomorrow. Your teachers are the giants who led you through every step of the way with your parents, the most important giants of all. I mean that respectfully. I can see one or two looking at me. No, no. Respectfully. The giants of all that are leading that journey ahead. It will not be an easy journey as we've hold, but it will be the journey that you make come true. And it will lead you to the vision of who you are. We are here today because Sun Bhavrama Singh Ji had a vision and a determination and drive to give to the community, the school that could give to the world. We're here because parents sacrificed their own money and their own homes to remortgage, to build and to buy some of the land so that we could be here in this room today. We're here because community have worked together. The teachers have worked hard. The parents have worked hard so that every child can come through. We're here because we are part of a wider community, as Superintendent uh, Candola told us earlier, much wider community. We're here because we have a future ahead of us, as our ex-alumni have shown us. We are here because this is simply your first step, young ladies and young gentlemen, into who you are going to become. And we truly feel honoured that we've had you in our presence and we feel more honoured of the works you have yet and you will achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our students and the futures that lay ahead of them. The last applause has to be for the parents. It is your vision and journey, not just to send them here to our school, but to inspire and be alongside them. There will be days, young gentlemen and ladies, that you will find it difficult. And those calls home to mum and dad will keep you going. Those difficult days when you think, what's my determination, may well change as we've seen some of the career paths change. It is up to you to make those days work. And parents will always be by your side. As we in the community here, and I've seen actually Mr. Sidhu's little black book, it has virtually every student's name who's been here. You are always part of our family here too. So those days when you feel that things are dark and difficult, you are never alone. Your family will always be by your side. Your GNSA family will always be by your side. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly we will exit from these doors and hopefully you'll all stay and join us for a lovely meal that's prepared ahead. I'm assuming it's prepared right the other side of the door, so we'll exit here and go through. And we hope you all have a good evening to share with each other. And it's those moments of sharing that you'll remember and hopefully in the future come back as I alumni here to bring that message 
for the next generation. Vahiguruji ka khalsa, Vahiguruji ki fatu. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming tonight. It's been brilliant to have students, parents, and our guests here tonight. As I start, I reflect on why we're all here. We wouldn't be here at all if it wasn't for Sant Baba Amar Singh Ji, who bought the building, spent years and years with all the hardship and strains to give us a first class building in this country, which is leading to the achievements which we are all celebrating today. So I'm sure you'll join me in thanking Baba Ji first. I also want to thank Superintendent Devinder Singh Kandola for giving up his valuable time to be with us tonight. And Mr. Thakkar, who supports Sport for the School as chair of the DNSA board, has been phenomenal. So thank you, Mr. Thakkar. I want to thank Mr. Sidhu and Mr. Donofrio and the staff who are tonight for giving up their evenings to support the students. And the students themselves and their parents, thank you. We celebrate the students' achievements, but it's only the first part of the journey. To those students who are leaving us in year 13 after doing so well and going on to universities, I would just say, sit and reflect tonight. Sometimes students think, ah, we're going to university, we have freedom. Freedom is only good. The whole country is a democratic democratic country but when you look at freedom freedom is such that it's enjoyed if you have a discipline of the mind and discipline of the mind comes with humility having your feet on the ground so you're taking in making the best use of the university lecturers and the learning and come out highly skilled ingrained into you should be seva so you're helping those colleagues in the university who are struggling and you're there to help. Also, I hope none of you forget Nithaname on a daily basis. And if you're doing these things, I pray and dream that Babaji's vision, which was opened up in 1992 and 93 when schools opened, that students here go on to leave humanity. And all we need is one who could make, change the lives of millions. And I hope sitting amongst you tonight is one such person. To the GCSE students who just completed GCSE with fantastic results, you now have to work even harder at A level to live up to now the expectations of the school and your parents. Thank you again. My apologies for not being here tonight. So you're all aware I live quite a distance away and I just do a very early morning shift. So it's very difficult at my age. And there I am just saying it's by my age. But I really hope that you have a lovely evening and really enjoy yourselves. And well done again to all the students. Brilliant effort. We are proud of you. Thank you. Why go to the Khalsa? Why go to the um, Today we're here at Gurunanak Sikh Academy um, at our graduation evening, and today we're going to be interviewing some of our ex students who have done exceptionally well and have come so far. So today with me I have Harkarin. Um, Harkarin, could you just tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I left the academy in 2014 and I did a maths degree um, at Brunei University. Um, after that, I've uh, accepted a role as an auditor and I've been doing that for about two years now. I'm currently training to be a chartered accountant and I'm doing the ACA qualification. I've done about nine, nine exams out of 15 and um, yeah, so I'm well on my way. Excellent. Um, so do you want to tell us a bit about your best memories that you've had at Gurunanak? My best memory at Grenonic, um, it has to be going into the Gurdwara every single day because like I've, and you don't realize this until you leave the academy because you you get caught up in daily life, but just having a Gurdwara in your daily place of work, almost, it's it's amazing because you, um, you just start your day off right and you sort of, yeah, it's just, it's amazing, yeah. 
Amazing. Um, do you want to tell us what else you do outside of um, what you did outside of school besides academic um, related things? Any hobbies or interests? Yeah, so um, I like to run and hike a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. Um, enjoy, massive fan of the outdoors and love traveling. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Excellent. How does it feel to be back? It's um, it's surreal. Like I was walking through the corridors and everything just seemed, it seemed the same, but it, it was just very, very different. Because you, when when you're studying, it's it's just a completely different perspective. Because you're thinking about your next lessons and walking through the same corridors. It was, um, yeah, it was surreal. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hi guys. Um, we're back with Akash Deep. Um, Akash Deep, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Hi. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to Seek Channel for having me on. Uh, I am an implementation consultant uh, working for a US tech company. Uh, we're based out in London. And uh, yeah, so I've been working there for about two years now. Graduated in biomedical science uh, at the University of Westminster. And, um, you know, really enjoyed the actual career, um, you know, and the career prospects of, you know, completing a degree. And then, you know, enrolled myself into a graduate scheme. And then, yeah, just, you know, Really glad to have landed such a great job. Yeah. Excellent, amazing. What advice would you like to give our current students at Guru Nanak? Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, I've just seen and heard of all the amazing results that the um, students here at Guru Nanak have achieved. And um, what my advice to them would be that the possibilities are absolutely endless. Uh, going outside of these gates, uh, whether it's an apprenticeship or a degree or whatever else that they um, find themselves happy doing, just go for it at full capacity. Try your best. If you get knocked down, get back up. And, um, you know, it, never be afraid to ask for help, um, you know, for a helping hand, because, you know, there are people all around that are, you know, here for support. So it can be a uh, you know, a big lonely world out there, but um, there's definitely people looking for help. Yeah, amazing. And um, were there any hardships that you faced um, while going into your career that you would like to just tell us a bit about? Yeah. So um, the nature of you know completing university, uh, you do your three or four years, and then um, all of a sudden the pressure's on you to find a job. And um, sometimes it's uh, great to see other people getting a job straight away, but then all of a sudden, you know, uh, interview after interview, you're not getting those jobs and you do naturally feel disheartened about it. Uh, But my advice would be is, you know, just have patience, you know, Um, good things come to those that wait. I know it's a cliche, but you know, it really does. And um, just don't give up. Excellent, thank you very much. That was Akash Deep with us. And we're back with Amrita Dillon, who's also an ex-student and doing incredibly well in the legal field. Um, Amrita, would you like to tell us a bit about what you do? So I left Grunanik Academy in 2014 and then I went on to university. I studied for my undergrad uh, law degree at City University, then went on to do my master's at City University and did the legal practice course. Now I work in-house in Kuwait Petroleum International Company. So it's a Middle Eastern oil company and I work as a legal advisor there. Amazing. Um, Any advice you would like to give some of our students who are also looking to get into law? Um, I would say really do your research beforehand. Nobody kind of sits you down and prepares you that for the long road ahead. Everyone tells you you're going to be mounded under uh, under books, but that's not the only thing. It's going to take you six years to qualify if you take no breaks. So really do your research. Find out what kind of a lawyer you want to be early on. That will really help you. Decide whether you want to go in-house or in private practice. I took the option to go in-house because it suited my lifestyle better. It suited my, my future plans better. But if you have the time and the commitment to be a, a private practice lawyer, then of course that's the route for you. But definitely do your research. Excellent. Thank you very much, Marita. We're back with Gasharan Bajaj, who's actually a current student at Guru Nanak, and he's going to tell us a bit about his GCSE results and his journey and how he perceived and did extremely well in them. So um, last year I did my GCSEs and it took a lot of pre- preparation and revision. Um, just to the students who are going to do them this year, I want to say that you need to start revising early, get through all the content and do exam questions will really help because that's what I did and I did really good in my GCSEs. I got five nines two eights and four sevens, which are all A stars and A's, and uh, nines are A star stars in the new specification. And I just want to say that, uh, make sure you revise, make sure you talk to the teachers if you need any help, and uh, yeah. 
Excellent. And would you like to tell us your best memories you've had so far um, from year seven to year 11? So probably the highlight was prom. It was one of the best nights I've had uh, with all my um, current students in my year and the teachers. It was just a fun night and uh, it was a really good experience. Excellent. Thank you, Gosharan. I'm back with Jessica Sachdeva. Um, Jessica is an extremely hardworking student and has tremendous grades. Um, Jessica, would you like to tell us a bit about your grades? So I got 10 nines and one eight. I completed my GCSEs last year and I'm currently studying in Guru Nanak Sikh Academy in year 12. And I think it took a lot of effort and hard work to get to where I am right now. So, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Jessica, can you tell us why you chose to come back to Guru Nanak? I think I like the community here, everyone, the teachers are so supportive in every subject as well and I know the teachers from beforehand so it's really easy fitting in as well. Excellent, what's been your best memory so far? I'd have to say it was prom as well, so it was a really good time, we all had a really good time and yeah. Excellent and um, what career are you looking to get into? I think dentistry, like I'm doing biology, chemistry and maths currently in A level and um, dentistry is just like I'm really passionate about it, so I really want to do it. Excellent, thank you. Well, well done and good luck for that. Okay, now we have just Kirit with us. Just Kirit, can you tell us a bit about why you chose to stay at Guru Nanak as well? Um, I chose to stay here at Guru Nanak Sikh Academy because of like the whole community as well and the teachers here are really supportive. And also my friends are quite supportive as well. And I just like the environment and I think it will help me achieve what I need for A-level. Excellent. And can you tell us what A-levels you are currently studying? Um, I'm studying psychology, biology and English literature at A-level. And I really enjoy all three subjects. And I think that's really important when you're choosing your A-levels because you're going to be doing them for the next two years. So you, you need to pick something you enjoy so that you put your hard work into it. Excellent. Are there any revision tips that you'd like to give some of our students? Um, if you're in year 10 or year 11, I'd say start making your notes and your flashcards early. So make sure you've caught up on all the content. And then when it comes closer to mock exams, make sure you revise because that helps for the real exam. So you'll know, like, once you come back to it, it'll just be like a refresh. Excellent. Thank you for that. Now we're here with Sankit. Um, Sankit has just finished his A-levels and achieved amazing grades. Sankit, can you tell us a bit about the grades you've achieved and how you've achieved them? So um, I studied maths, further maths and physics, and I got an A star, A, B. And the way I achieved these grades was was by the help of my teachers. And uh, the school put a lot of work into giving me extra tuition and extra classes throughout school. So, yeah. Excellent. And what's been your best memory of Gurnanik? So I'd say the best memory was in year 12 when the school arranged a trip to Geneva, Switzerland, for physics. And uh, I would say that was, the, that was a lot of fun with my friends, yeah. Excellent, thank you. And um, can you tell us a bit about the career you would like to go into? So currently I've, I've got an offer at LSE and I'd like to go into finance and work for a, a firm related finance, yeah. Excellent, thank you. And we're back with the next student called Prabbe. He's done really well in his A-levels and looking to pursue a career in computer science. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Hi, so I wanted to do a career in computer science and with my A-levels which I got was, uh, which I did were maths, biology and physics. I got an ABB and I thought that as I spend most of my time on my computer, I'm always trying to learn new things about computers and I thought, well, since I like it so much, computer science is a good course for me to go into. Excellent. Any tips and advice you'd like to give any of our students that would like to go into computer science? Yeah, it's always good to make the most out of your teachers that are here. So seeing that I did maths, I always went to my maths teachers back and forth and they were always free and ready for me if I needed any help. And same with the other teachers. Excellent, amazing. And what were your best memories at Gurunanik? <laughs> I have to say it was probably the Geneva trip that I did for physics. Uh, it Not only that I got to go to another country which I've never been to before, it also showed me that uh, physics applies to more than just on like pen on paper, there's actually real life um, effects such as the Large Hadron Collider. Amazing, excellent, thank you very much for that. And we have Simran here who's a current year 12 student um, doing her A-levels. Simran, can you tell us a bit about the extra cur curriculum activities the school has involved you in? Um, so I've been involved in a lot of extracurricular activities that help me build up 
um, my CV and my work in terms of um, providing for my future and my career. So um, we recently done a um, mini scholarship um, for universities that was based on children getting uh, insight on university life and further education. So the scheme was based on biology and we basically had to study the microbiome with a PhD tutor which helped us understand a bit more about how lectures work and then we were also left to independently work to write a dissertation which helped us get insight on how hard it would be and how um, independent learning works and um, it was really helpful because it basically just prepared us in a sense of knowing what to expect and it helped us in our education already because we were able to go out and work more independently and apply the same things to what we were already doing. Excellent, thank you. And what A-levels are you currently studying? Um, I'm studying Economics, English and History. Amazing. And can you tell us a bit about the career you'd like to go into? Um, so I'm not completely sure about it yet, but I've looked into economics and law mainly. Um, and they're just two subjects I think I'd end up enjoying. Excellent. And any hobbies and interests you have that are outside school? Um, so I, well, I'm a very artistic person. I like to take out my time when from studying into doing art, colouring, drawing, painting, um, all of those. And, you know, I just, I enjoy most things really, doing any kind of extra volunteering I do anyways. And I really enjoy doing the the artwork, I volunteer at my mum's law firm sometimes, which is very interesting. I just like to find different things to do. I mean, like the Duke of Edinburgh and stuff also, I think it's really important you take every opportunity to kind of build things up for later that will be helpful in your career as well. Okay, thank you very much. We also have Jaspal here with us today, who's a first year at the University of Brunel. Um, Jaspal, could you like tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm... Um studying computer science networking and um very interested in competing so. excellent um have you had any experience in the field you've taken up yeah i've actually done a cyber course and that's really helped me um you know gain an understanding of cyber security in general and what computing entails Excellent, amazing. And how has um, Grononic prepared you to um, get to where you are today? So Grononic supported me within work experience fields, for example, uh, working with us to gain a trusted work experience placement. And there's also, um, we've also gone to like a uni day thing where we would go to different unis and look around what courses are available and how are they of interest to us. Excellent, thank you. That was just pal, thank you. And we have Harpreet here with us, who's the next student and come back to Grunanak after four years. Harpreet, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Hi, so um, I went to America to study uh, biology on a soccer scholarship. Um, so I fent spent four years out there studying um, for my degree. So I was a full-time student and a full-time athlete while um, being a part-time um, worker. So I was working in telecommunications and I used my telecommunications experience to um, get my job today, which is as a recruitment consultant. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, you know, I love what I'm doing and um, I'm also playing football for Brentford Football Club now. So I'm continuing with my football career as well and hopefully um, I'll get my coaching licences and I can, you know, help your kids uh, <laughs> learn to do keepy ups and, you know, be a winger like me. Amazing. Can you tell us a bit about your experience in America? Yeah, so I was out there for four years and it was surreal to say the least, um, completely different to what I'm used to. You know, I grew up in Hounslow, Southall area. I went to a busy school uh, surrounded by Indian children. And then I go to America. I was in Pennsylvania. I was surrounded by trees and grass and cows. And it was li like like I lived in India, but um, no, it was it was amazing. Um, I learned so much about so many different people. I learned so much about myself having lived out for ages. Um, but no, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, and what would you like to say to all the students at Gronanik? Um, take up every opportunity you can. Um, never give up. Be resilient. Um, but most of all, enjoy what you're doing. Um, you know, if you're not enjoying it, something's not right. So, you know, take every opportunity you can to make the most of it.
Definitely. Thank you very much, Harpreet. It was great to see you. Thank you, everyone. Those were a few students we had here with us um, from Guru Nanak Sikh Academy. Um, they've done extremely well, and we hope to see many of our students grow into and f blossom into a fabulous career. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Waigurji da Khalsa, Waigurji di Fateh.